Chrissy, come here. Come here. It'll be okay. Come here. We need a video. I need you to test it. You're, you'll be good. I promise. You want over the neck? Here, we'll do it. We'll do it right here. Like this. Okay. All right. No. No. Be still. Be still. Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we've got something pretty cool that I've been looking forward to testing for a while now. What it is, this is this Lifesaver armor. It's a, it's, it's a steel armored plate, but it's got a special coating on it, and it's got it's straps already on it, so you don't have to go and buy an extra plate carrier and, and pay lots of money. I saw this at the Viltor booth at SHOT Show, and I was like, hey guys, I want to test what the steel armor does with this coating what the spalling effect is because if you know when you hit a steel plate because I love shooting steel targets you hit that steel plate the bullet goes into a thousand pieces and it's going to well if you're wearing it as armor the bullet fragments here and then it can go just everywhere you got your arms out in a defensive rifle position it's gonna it may spall and then cut open your brachial arteries or something that's not cool so they put a, 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 a coating a special protectant it's their own proprietary stuff and it's supposed to catch some majority of that so you don't get hurt so what we did we've got a set up here with a clear ballistics gel which is actually uh, for another uh, video in the future you want to pay attention to that but what we're getting, we put balloons around it so I work at a kids camp we got balloons everywhere now balloons pop very easy so this is not a scientific test in any form um, it, it will just see if it's a you know if, if if it catches it so much that it doesn't pop the balloons, that'll be amazing. Because we've got a LaRue target out there with some balloons on it as well. We're gonna hit that thing once and every single balloon's gonna pop. So we will see how well this rubber coating protects it. Um, gosh, honestly, I, I'm, I'm kinda half and half. I've never shot it before, so we'll see how much it catches. But even if this rubber coating comes off as a, at a high velocity, it's gonna pop a balloon. But your arms are stronger than a balloon, so we know that it it, it still may work and do its job just fine. So, let's shut up and shoot. All right, so the Lifesaver ammo is rated for 7.62.39. All, it says popular rifle calibers, and probably, I mean, if it can stop a 7.62 by 39, it's gonna stop any handgun caliber. Uh, it's a European com company, so I guess, you know, it's German, so that's why they did the 7.62. What we're gonna be using is the CMMG Mutant, because it's quieter than my AK. And we've got some Winchester, I think it's PowerPoint ammo. Hold on, I got the box in my pocket. Yeah, it's the PowerPoint ammo for uh, <laughs> deer and wild boar. Master, are you cool with this? She's cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're at 50 yards. First up, we have, we're zeroed in on the, uh, well, we got the LaRue target with the, with the balloons around it. This will show you why you don't just want to shoot the, uh, you know, you're not going to just want to shoot or wear a steel plate that's not coated. And this is why. <laughs> that is so cool. Everything blows up at once. All right, we're going to go reposition camera. This is why it takes so long to make these videos. Come on, pig. Come on. Come on. Do you want to be bacon? Pretty sure I pressed record down there. Let's do this. Two out of three. That's not terrible. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Sweet, dude! Check that out! That is slick! Look, there's a perfect circle stress of where it caught the jacket in there. Alright, so the balloon didn't go far. And I ain't gonna tell nothing by looking at that. But that is pretty slick! And, I mean, it didn't hurt these. So, I, we had a... a what are you doing? Did you just eat a Coke can? You goofball. <laughs> Here, you want some? You want some? And not so like soda. All right, how about that? Back to this. So, so since we're at a slight angle, I guess that's why what little frags went this way, but these are perfectly intact. Gosh, I tell you what. I mean, since these stayed so well, I, I say that's a win. 
and that shot was pretty well placed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so the, that guy over there, it blew the cardboard off even, so that is sweet. All right, so if you're like me, you know, hey, 223's got more penetration than a 762. Physics, right? Well, let's try it out. Got my LaRue Le SBR here, Recu 5. Lifesaver target. Let's put one dead center that's already been hit once, but says on the flyer, multiple hit, capable. Let's do it. That sounded solid, and the balloons are still staying in that are there. Sweet. Let's go check. Oh, that was a FMJ uh, Angel Fire 55s. Alrighty, so it's a smaller hole. Um. Oh yeah, you can tell right there it didn't go through at all. So it's fragmenting just like any other steel, uh, any other bullet would do in a steel target. I mean, I stick my hand back here. Oh, we can see nothing. Our clear ballistics guy is good to go. Sweet. I am liking these more all the time. Um, let's shoot them more. What about some soft points? This is kind of getting fun. I'm liking this. Balloon didn't pop, but the staple gave way. Sounded solid. And you know it didn't go through because the FMJ didn't. So I am not seeing, oh, there it is. A little teeny tiny hole. Check that out, right there. <laughs> I can barely see it. <laughs> and behind it, of course. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, we got a little dent. We better take this off and see what's up. Oh, it's not a dent. <laughs> it's just the impact. It says Rhine metal right there on the. It, it, it actually bled through the the ink did. But we have we have bulges, but no penetration, which is still impressive considering this is like a quarter inch plate. And my targets are three eighths. So, let's see if we can dig in here a little bit. Okay, you can see a tiny bit of bowling going on underneath. So, that makes sense though, because I mean, why would you want to wear a three inch plate and all that metal if this stops it? And this weighs what, almost seven pounds of plate. So this is 13.9 pounds on my front and back. Let's try some pistol rounds. All right, so check this out. Buddy of mine loaned me a STI in 10 millimeter. We got some Freedom's Emissions Hush ammo. We don't have the uh, suppressor on just because, uh, well, it wasn't cycling as, as much as I wanted it to. But we're going to go full 10 millimeter on this bad guy, see what it does. Well, that'll help. Oh, we made him real sad. Hey, but we still had 50% and I was... I may have shot the last balloon myself. <laughs> we'll see. I think we can tell easy. So, one, two, three. Nice little hole. We're still not, this, I'm impressed at how well this rubber's holding. Cause, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting a little great work out there. Cool, all right, I got one more trick up my sleeve. All right, well this is embarrassing because my camera didn't catch the last set when we shot it with, hold on. Shot it with my 357 lever action, suppressed with a Bowers vs. 9S suppressor, full 357 Magnum cartridge in it. <sighs> Something didn't record. So anyway, here's the plate. And it stopped 38 special just fine. Here, we'll drop it down because I didn't want to just hold it up. It, it stopped 350, uh, 38 special just fine, and then the 357 went in the same hole. And you can see it started to finally break loose. So, and I got a little bit of spalling on the outside from that point blank 357. See, if we can, if we can just kind of pull that right there. Yep, a little bit of jacket from that 357 finally started to separate it. So, as long as you're hit less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the 357. So if you're like, you know, less than eight rounds center mass, uh, you're gonna be just fine with this thing. Spin it over. No penetration. We got a little bit of bulge, but we're hitting in the same spot again and again. So that was, uh, that's uh, that's rough. But uh, so you can see, just, yeah, there, there you go. You can barely see the bulges on the other side, but no penetration. So pretty cool. Um, that's the Lifesaver Target. You can get it from Viltor. We're not going to push, post the link probably because YouTube will shut me down because they're stupid. And, but we're going to keep these coming anyway. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting, clicking like, and all the subscribing good stuff. 
I know you just come to see my pet pig Nostler, but I have fun filming stuff out here anyway. Ah, uh, if you got anything else cool you want me to check out, please leave some stuff in the comments. I'm always looking for some ideas to have some fun. In the meantime, I will see you later.